Hello guys, I'm back with uh, day six of my uh, Lakeside World Championship predictions and also a little bit of late breaking darts news, that's correct. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the predictions straight away. Uh, we're going to start off with the afternoon session uh, on Thursday. Uh, we're going to start with the youth final, the BDO youth final. Justin Van der Howe is going to play Killian Heffernan of Northern Ireland. This should be uh, quite interesting. Justin has been playing uh, a lot of the Challenge Tour this year and Youth Tour as well. So he's uh, been playing quite a lot there and obviously a lot of the youth set up um, in the BDO and I'm going to go for Justin to retain the uh, the World Youth in the BDO, the BDO World Youth. Um, and yeah, I think he'll I think he'll win that one just to win the youth final. Anyway, then we go on to the uh, women's main draw, and we have Sharon Prince. She's about to play. Uh, she's going to be playing uh, Dita Hedman. Um, uh, this is why the course is a tough draw for the women. I'm I'm going to go for Dita to win this one. Uh, it's best of five now for the women, and. I think Dit is going to win this one 3 1. I think Sham will get a set. It should be interesting to see uh, how that one pans out, but Dit to win 3 1. Then we go on to my pick for the tournament, Jim Williams. He is going to be uh, taking on Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian, Whitehead. Uh, tough match. I do believe that Jim will have to play a lot better than he did in his first round. Um, he uh, he just squeaked past that one. He actually probably shouldn't he shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have got through but he did uh i'm gonna go for jim again i think he'll win this one four two as it's best of seven now for the men and the final match of the afternoon is trina gulliver the 10 times women's world champion and will be taking on eileen de graff who has had again such an amazing year on the women's tour and i am going to say that Eileen is going to get past Trina in this one. I'm going to say it's going to be around about three sets to one for Eileen. Then we move on to the evening session. And this is why they say it's such an amazing Women's World Championship this year. The first match on in the evening, Fallon Sherrick. Uh, she'll be playing, she's a former world finalist by the way. She'll be playing Lisa the Lancashire Rose Ashton. Uh, who... I said, can mix it with some, with some of the women, uh, some some of the men, some of the women. So, <laughs> she can mix it with the women, uh, but she can actually mix it up with some of the men. So uh, this is going to be quite an interesting. One. I'm going to go for Lisa. Just I'm going to say three two because I do believe Fallon played great in her in her first round uh, in the first round game against Corinne Hammond. Uh, if she brings a game similar to that, she could test Lisa. But we'll see. Uh, three two to Lisa in that one uh, then the Welsh legend is Martin Phillips he's about to go up against Michael Unterbuchner who has been the, the um, surprise package of these championships uh, but again I think I'm going to go for experience and I think Martin Phillips uh, is, is going to get through this one I'm going to say somewhere along the lines of 4-1 for Martin that should be an interesting match though and then we go to Anastasia de Bromislova She'll be playing uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Now, <clears throat> coin flip for me. This is a coin flip. This could literally go either way. Who knows? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say, though, uh, Lorraine's been on real good form this year. I'm going to go for Lorraine. And I'm, go I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say 3-1 for this. I, think, um, I don't know that Anna can deliver the same level of performance again. If she does, she'll win. But I believe Lorraine will win 3-1. And the final game of the uh, of the day uh, on day six is Richard Vinstra. He'll be playing Gert De Vos in the uh, final game of the day. And uh, Vinstra played uh, real, real strong darts, and uh, De Vos did as well. This is going to be a tough one to call. I'm going to say four two to De Vos for this. I think he'll just be a little bit too steady for Richard. Um, but we shall see. 4-2 for that one. So that is the predictions out of the way 
for the day. The breaking news for all darts fans is everyone's been asking Glenn Durant, who had a successful um, match in the second round there against uh, Dal Fitton. Everyone's been asking there for about the last six six months. Will he be going over to the PDC? Will he want to go to the PDC? He has said in the past that he would like to and that he, uh, he wants to. Well, uh, yesterday he made a... Um, he had an interview done and uh, he did uh, clear up uh, his future. Um, he said he's made his decisions as to which way he's going to go and what he's going to do uh, so he says he is going to do this if he gets knocked out in the next round um, that will now be the quarterfinals against either Jim or Conan which is what the quarters will be if he gets knocked out before the semi-finals he will go to the PDC Q School. He will be going to Q School if he doesn't make at least the semi-finals. If he makes the semi-finals, finals or wins it, he says he will make a statement to, to say that he will never play PDC. That is coming from Glenn Durant himself. Uh, I will put a link down below of the actual interview that was done. Uh, so if you want to see it, you can. The confirmation of exactly what Glenn said. But that is Glenn's decision. He's decided that if he gets knocked out before the semi-finals, he will be going to, Q, uh, to PDCQ school. If he doesn't, and he makes the semis, or the final, or wins it, he will never make the jump to the PDC. So Glenn says. So, it'll be interesting. There's only two other men that could stop uh, Glenn from not making the move. And that'll be the Jim or Conan. So it'll be interesting that quarterfinal. Will it be Glenn's last game on the Lakeside stage, or even on a BDO stage, or will or will he be a permanent fixture of the BDO for the rest of his career? We will find out uh, in the quarterfinals. So that is the uh, late bit of uh, darts news. So I will put a link to that video below so uh, you can actually uh, see Glenn talk about his future and his season so far. Uh, this was just after his first round win, uh, but obviously it's still dated. It's still in date because he's still in the tournament and there is still that chance. So I will leave that down below for you to have a look at. I will link it down below. But I will be back for day seven, uh, which, will, which should be, I believe, the quarterfinal stages then of the men and the semifinals of the women um, will be starting on uh, Saturday as well. Uh, sorry, uh, on Friday. That's right. On Friday, the, yeah, that's right. And, uh, yay, I haven't lost touch. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be back with them. And, as I said, I'll link that video of Glenn's below. And I will see you uh, for Day 7 predictions. And we will then know who Glenn's possible final opponent at Lakeside will be. I say possible. We'll find out. I'll see you guys next time.